What's up? Um, working on that pump today, I pulled off of that parts motor. I got it sold to a friend of mine, uh, Jonathan. And I told him I would go through it and pull the hydraulic head off and change the O-rings and make sure everything was good to go before I sent it out to him. Just because it's a used pump and I try not to sell, well, I don't try. I don't sell parts that I'm not sure function, uh, especially the injector pumps. Um, so I told him I'd go through it and make sure it was all good to go before I sent it out. And uh, I pulled the head off and as you can see it's it's pretty nasty in there. Now that's not rust, that's just algae that forms when diesel fuel breaks down and it starts eating itself. Um, as you can see it's just kind of some nastiness. Uh, so. I've done videos on a hydraulic head o-rings before, there's nothing to it. There's one here, one there as you can see, and then the third small one right here. But what I really wanted to show you, the reason I'm doing this video, is um, you know, we always talk about hydraulic heads and the button falling off and, and the plunger getting stuck. Well, as you can see here, that spring is fully compressed. That plunger is stuck in the up position. And it's stuck because what's happened let me see if I can, can't really get it to focus in very well. Is it's gotten seized from varnish inside of that fuel block right there, the spill port plate. And uh, probably seized in the bore to uh, the same way. And well, it just sticks up and then it won't come down to be pushed back up for the next stroke to make the thing run. It still spins with the gear. Uh, to distribute fuel to the other sections, but being as it's not traveling up and down, it's not producing any high pressure pulses through the lines when it's supposed to. So what you've got to do is generally, you can take this top plug out and just sit it in the vise uh, like so carefully with some, some pads so you don't mar up the ceiling surfaces down here and I'll put some penetrating oil in it and use either uh, like a plastic dowel or even a, a metal punch uh, gently. You don't want to hit it with a hammer. Just push on it and um, you will be able to get it freed up after a while. It, it, it takes a little bit of patience but if you work with it uh, yeah, I mean, you'll you'll want to get in here with some penetrating oil and, and try to met, move this up and down with your screwdriver. It should move freely with no resistance at all. This block should, and um, the same with with the plunger. When it's actually free, you'll be able to push down on it, and it will move up to where it is now. And then when you let off, it'll come back down to its resting position. Um, not a whole lot to that. You've just got to work with it, be patient, use plenty of penetrating oil. I, I don't care what brand oil you use. I mean, I, I use coil. It seems to work pretty good for dissolving varnish that's left behind by diesel fuels. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of others that'll work, PB and, and whatnot. Uh, it's entirely up to you what kind of oil you use. I'm not here to debate on what does and does not work as far as penetrating oils and what they're better at. Uh, like I said, coil works for me. If you want to use something else, fine. Um, I'm just trying to tell you what you need to do to solve this issue and the reason these buttons fall off is because they get stuck in the up position like this the plunger does and then the tappet comes up and it, it's just slapping the bottom of it and you see the button will move in and out just a bit well when it's getting slapped over and over again eventually it, it'll crack a little ear on that retainer then the retainer will fall off and the button and retainer are just bouncing around and not providing the last I don't know eighth of an inch of stroke to build the proper pop pressure for the injectors and then it doesn't matter if this has freed itself or not um, you still aren't going to get enough of a stroke when the tappet pushes the, the plunger up so I just wanted to show you that real quick um, there's a few more things I'm gonna do to this pump I've got to uh, I've got to free up the shut off uh, lever pull thingamajigger I used to know the term of that but it's hot and I'm tired and anyway I've got to free that up because it doesn't pull out either 
This thing's been sitting out in the weather for quite a while, so. Uh, and I'm also gonna pull the FTC off and make sure everything in the governor's working like it should as far as I can test it without having it on a stand. So, uh, hopefully that'll tell you a little more about what you need to know with these pumps when they've been setting up for a while because they do get that nasty and worse and I have actually seen them run that way but nine out of ten times the truck's not going to start because that shit's going to be seized up and I think I've shown you this in another video too but your uh, fuel lever actually damn it yeah watch me drop everything and lose half the shit um it's actually seized in its pivot as well so what i have to do is take this these little lock tabs which yeah there's three of them i think maybe only two anyway who's counting you fold them down and then back this nut off and take this lever off and then it will slide out of itself and you can clean it it only takes a few minutes but you've got to make sure to keep everything oriented exactly as it was when you took it apart from this little tit to the orientation of the lever being right at 12 o'clock because um, so if you get that off then your throttle will never be where it's supposed to be it'll either be less than full throttle when you got the pedal to the floor or more when you've got no throttle or it just causes all kind of stupid problems depending on where you get it so Pay attention if you do have to take that apart put it back together the same way and it does not take a whole lot of torque to break that threaded stem off when you're putting this nut back on so just snug it down and fold your tabs back up and it's good to go uh, if there's any questions you have about this feel free to post them below the video and I'll get back to them as soon as I can I try to answer all your questions and comments and I hope you enjoyed this Hope it helps you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.